Hi, Jacob. Uh, this is Mr. Varga, your fifth grade teacher. Welcome to Coral Mountain Academy. I'm looking very forward to seeing you uh, this week. So what I want to do is show you how to log into Google. When you log into Google, that will give you access to everything that we use during our distance learning. So what you have to do first is you open up your web browser. Um, on your iPad, I think that's Safari. And you put in www.google.com. And then it'll go to the Google website. Now notice up here in the top right corner, you've got a sign-in. Well, you're gonna click on that sign-in, and then accounts that have logged in before might appear, but don't worry about those accounts. You would use, use another account, and you would put in j.corona4 at cbusd.us, that is your district email address. Hit next. And then always this Microsoft screen will pop up. Well, once again, you don't want to choose any of the accounts that might already be there. Put in use another account. And then once again, enter your email address, j.corona4 at cbusd.us. Hit enter. And then you are going to put in that password. That is somewhat complicated. So here I go. Six, capital F, capital V, capital Q, seven, one, small g, capital M, percentage sign, and then small e, small e, small b. Now I hit sign in. And now what will happen is you will log into Google. Uh, we would like to confirm, yes, yes, hit continue. And then notice what you see up here in the top right corner. You've got a little letter J, which stands for Jacob, of course. You can change this to a picture if you'd like. Just make sure it's a school appropriate picture, please. And then right next door to your little image is this thing. We call this a waffle. Well, if you click on the waffle, you've got all of your Google um, and learning platforms available to you. So right here is classroom, okay? That is gonna be our classroom. And then if you scroll down, oh, in our classroom, that, that is where all of our uh, assignments are located. Well, some of the assignments. And then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you have our different programs. Not only do you have Classroom again down here, but you also have our language arts program, which is McGraw-Hill. It's called Connect Ed. You have our math program, which is called Think Central. And then we have our social studies program, which is called Pearson Easy Bridge. You can click on any of these and go right to your assignments, your dashboard in each of those platforms without having to log in again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna log into your classroom. So we click on classroom and again, keep looking up here. If your little J continues to show, then that means you're still logged in and take a look, here you go. These are the two classrooms that I joined you to. My classroom, and our visual arts performing arts classroom, which we do on Thursdays, okay? So now when we go into Mr. Varga's classroom, down, now mine is at the top, but yours will be at the bottom. It'll say stream. The stream is where I leave you messages if I wanna communicate with you. Classwork is where I give you assignments that I might wanna grade assignments that you need to do something and then turn it back into me. And then people, well, those are just your fellow classmates, okay? This classwork is the big one. This is where your assignments, some of your assignments are gonna be, okay? And then every single day, you should log into Google Classroom and check the stream. And you'll see that 
there will be messages to you and the other students on the stream. Okay, I hope this helps. On the stream, you will also see that our assignments are here too. Well, you can click on them and it'll take you into classwork and into the assignment. That's okay, or you can just go into classwork and hit it right there. All right, so I hope this helps you solve some of our technology issues. And I wanna let you know that this has, that everybody has had technology issues, okay? And not to get discouraged, just be very careful with your username, which is your email address, and your uh, um, password, okay? That password, the capital letters have to be capital and the small letters have to be small, all right? I hope this helps and I am going to email you a copy of this video right now.